In this video, I'm going to show you what the Oyo State Governor Ejina Shimakide is doing to the city of Ibado. I'm going to take a ride along the major roads in Ibado to inspect what the sustainable development has been promised by Oyo State Governor, whether this is actually happening or not. Now, critical look at how Governor Shimakide is setting Ibado City to rival Lagos in terms of sustainable development agenda that he has for Oyo State. But we we'll say this is new. Ibadan actually looks new because of the road networks across the city. You have road for being revamped, and uh, there is actually is a rigorous effort of the state government. Ibadan is looking new in every aspect in terms of the uh, road infrastructure because there are so many more roads needs to be, you know. Uh, Constructed. Yeah, this is one particular one. Is a new one along Akala, heading toward, head going towards uh, Apata, Apata, uh, towards the NNPC. This road is, is now fully completed and is actually uh, being used. It's on an expressway anyway, and uh, it is estimated that this one is going to link to inner uh, parts of. Or your state, like uh, the areas of Irua, uh, and uh, this road is very. Uh, what you can find out is that the road is well constructed. In the month of March 2024, the Ibadan Circular Road, which is one of the major infrastructures that's going to bring economic prosperity to the city of Ibadan, it's been laid, and this is why this attracts the Web Nuba Africa to make this project as one of the must-see projects in the southwestern state of Nigeria. Cadillac as a must-see project in southwest Nigeria. Senator Rashidi Ladoja's circular road, Ibadan. The 110-kilometer Senator Rashidi Ladoja's circular road is a multi-billion Naira priority project by the governor of Oyo State. It consists of four sections, the southeast wing, which is 32.2 kilometers, Northeast wing, which is 20.8 kilometers, Northwest wing, which is 33 kilometers, and Southwest wing, which is 24 kilometers. The Southwest wing provides a bypass for travelers, goods, and freight commuting through Ibadan along the Lagos Abadan Expressway. The 32.2 kilometers Southeast wing of the Senator Rashidi Ladoja Circular Road Construction Project is being executed by Craneburg Construction Limited and comprises the construction of six bridges, including two interchanges. The road designed to encircle the entirety of Ibadan will strategically link the Ibadan Fair Expressway, the Monia train station, Ibadan Inland Drive, the most all free trade zone, and different parts of the Ibadan metropolis. The circular road will also ease the flow of traffic in strategic locations in the metropolis, as well as drive more development in Oyo State. Right, this is Tufilo's Akiyele Way, the newly commissioned way, which is known to have been challenged Odo on a way to a level Akpata Road. This commissioned by Oyo State Governor Shoyi Makinde. Another striking feature is that this road is already well lighting already. You can see the street light already on this road just immediately after being commissioned. And this is it. After it's been commissioned wide enough for vehicles and also it's a rural carriageway and soon the road will also be lighted. This road is actually very very good and will help the economy of the bad uh, This road starts from Apata and leads to New Garage uh, via Akala Expressway. Uh, this is a very beautiful one. You can see it has brought a lot of uh, it's actually still bringing more development more development to this part of Bado. You can attest to it. The price of uh, uh, property in this side will really, really go up in uh, going by this uh, infrastructure of growth that's been put in place. Uh, today uh, is the commission on the 16th of February and this is the night of 17th of February, the Saturday night of 17th of February 2024 and you can see how the road looks very much like very good roads 
uh, that links from Akwata to New Garage to via Akala Expressway. It's very good road really, day and it's a, actually a plus to one of the roads we constructed by our state governor. And this is actually to give a credit to the state government for doing this uh, very important uh, major road in our state. Uwudi Abekuta uh, to Bembo is just uh, a stone too. If you pass through here, it's very easy to get to this side of the road. And there's also uh, street lights for uh, motorists to, to follow the regulations and they observe the, uh, the uh, traffic regulation as well. This is very important and uh, it's good to enjoy, to ride even at night. This is it, Akala. Uh, way ended and now we are now on to challenge Udonede way which is now known as Theophilus Akiyele Way being commissioned by Oyo State Governor Shehima today on Thursday the 16th of uh, February 2024. This is a plus and we really appreciate this gesture from the Oyo State Governor and there's more more of these roads. This is a 12.5 kilometers road we constructed around this axis. Let's enjoy this, riding on this way. And let's listen to the remark of the adjusted governor, Engineer Shimake Day, during the commission of this challenge with the Eleway Elebu Road. So we're here today to commission uh, the dualized 12.5 kilometer road. Uh, Shimake Day, the commission of this challenge with the Eleway Elebu Road. Uh, we are in Ibadan. Among other inner roads being constructed in Oyo State. Uh, this is a way of us in prosperity for our people and ensuring that they enjoy the dividends of democracy. Uh, let me also specially greet uh, Isa, MD of COPEC, uh, and your team. I call you uh, uh, Mr. Amirakou. So this is another miracle performed. When we commission these projects, we often go back to see the impact these projects have on the lives of our people. For most of them, a road project like this is the difference between being able to quickly go from their homes to the market or spending one hours in traffic. This particular road is cutting down travel time by at least 30 minutes for yes. some people. Yes, plus, and well done. We say uh, well done to Governor Shehima today. Not just this Akara to Apata Road, there are so many, there are so quite many other roads being you know, uh, completed in the Ibaro city, and also more of the uh, inner roads uh, being. Uh, Undergoing construction. I think that's a promise of the second term of the commercial market day of your state. So, and it's, it's glaring. So, it's come to be uh, that we can see uh, that the promise is being, uh, it's been made and uh, it's been fulfilled, so to say. So, now this is the end part of the road starting from uh, Akala Expressway and if the fate Perhaps we are looking for one of a kind, the cultural exhibitions around the world, all traveled and places. Stay tuned to my channel, KB Jojo Newsbox. We are intend to give you every vital information, hobbits, interesting places, you know, pieces of interest, tourism, and about people, culture around the world. Stay tuned on this channel. We promise to give you more. It's you. Thank you. Tremendous efforts of Oyo State Governor have been felt virtually everywhere in the state, especially the inner roads as sustainable development is taking place by constructing and rehabilitating inner roads in the city of Ibadan in order to put our state in economic position to rival Lagos State. This is what the people of Ibadan is bearing right now as our state government is uh, focused on revamping and rebuilding the major roads in the cities and inner roads across the states. So, this is Ring Road in Ibadan, as you can see. 
uh, excessive work is going on towards the construction of the road. The rainbow river is vital to the city itself, and uh, the state government actually is rigorously embarking on this uh, reconstruction of the roads. But this is what the um, road users have to bear a kind of, uh, you know, um, irregular traffic and, as you say, congestion and as well as uh, road um, um, uh, slow motions or whatever the coast loose or whatever you call it, con traffic congestion as you can find it. This is city of Ibarra and this is High Court Road. So, the moment this road from the 1110 towards the uh, challenge has been uh, completed, then the people will continue to enjoy it. So right now, this is what the people have to bear in the last uh, few weeks. That's a rigorous effort. It's been made. The road is already been uh, scraped and the north side of it has already been done for the other way and towards challenge is just to be done. Thank you very much. Simultaneously, works have been going on in the reconstruction of roads around GRA, the Yagaku areas, which also has been in deteriorating condition over the times. This will also Im improve transport and also easy movement and mobility of people within the metropolis of Ibadan. It can now be confidently said that most roads in the city of Ibadan are well tarred, smooth, and you enjoy driving in the city of Ibadan, neat and days is posing the oil state to, to attract investments as the state is actually road infrastructure and other utilities that will make oil state to be a place to invest in. Let's take a ride along the smooth, fearless Akinyele Way just via Akala Express Road and see the magic. This is a pleasurable ride on the new road commissioned by our state governor, Engineer Shei Makede. Even at night, very good street lighting. This is as this can meet international standard. This meets international standard of road. The dualized road, dual carriageway, you can see. Uh, three lanes in each part, the other part also has three lanes, as you can see. This is Ibadan now, uh, experiencing very rigorous development by the state government. Can 
this seed is just like me, which I express it to be this we had a lot of development to this area it's a very good road indeed in the city of Ibado this is actually a great an important road for Ibado as well and there's many more to go it's only Less than nine months into the uh, second term of Governor Shei Makide, and we already already experiencing this development in the city of Ibadan. Thank you, Mr. Governor, for doing this for this great for your sake. And this is it makes this road makes it easy. You are traveling from Apekucha, and you are going to uh, Lagos. You can easily even pass right, pass through this um, important road. From Apata to New Garage, then link up to uh, the uh, toll gate, then you'll be heading to Lagos. Now, this is the end part of the road, and this is the, this is the road as it is. And if the fate should bless us with a moment of reprieve, we all could stand together in the silence and just breathe. Rejoice for all the happiness, mourn for all the grief, it's all